Hi everyone. So just this week I was asked a sensible question in regards to, we talk a lot about our scale out backup repository and we talk about a lot of the benefits that you get from that. But then there is still a lot of customers out there that is using the simple repository or let's just take it for example, we've come in here maybe prior to things like V10 and or sorry, even V95 when the capacity tier first arrived, but we, and we've we've had added in a simple repository, some direct attached storage, which allows us to to store our backups. And maybe we've been doing this for years, and, and uh, but now we want to start taking advantage of all the all the good stuff that we have um, with our capacity tier and being able to tier that out into object storage or the scale up backup repository. I should call it as a as a whole so looks very simple obviously it's on the f drive simple repository if we go and look at just simply go and look at one of our jobs because the question that i got asked was can i convert a simple repository to a sober or to a scale out backup repository without having to move all the data off and into a different location so for example i have this i set up a machine set up a simple backup job that's got four successful backup jobs all landing in that local DAS based simple repository. So if I go in here and we go to storage, you're going to see simple repository, exactly the one that we just looked at in the uh, in the previous backup infrastructure page. Okay, so we've got a successful backup, we don't want to change anything in there. I.e., we don't want to have to lift and shift all of the data, we want just Veeam to do the smart and make it make it happen for us. So an answer to the question is basically yes. So we can come in here and we can go and create that scale up backup repository. Let's just keep it simple just for the demo. Scale up backup repository. Now in here, we want to choose our simple repository. We could then start to say use per VM backup files if you wish. Make that choice, that's up to you. Obviously if you're making a different change to what it was on the other repository, expect that you will need a full backup for, full backup um, to continue on just be noteworthy of that okay so this is the key message and generally the question obviously comes because there's a lot of concern is that or oh, if we go this far do we mess everything up so ultimately all jobs and backups using this extent will be automatically updated to point to the new scale up backup repository and then you've also got the ability to go show items so we can see that that backup job that I suggested is also going to be moved over to this new scale out backup repository and I'll, I'll confirm that at the end. So then we've got our placement policy whether it's data locality or whether it's performance and then if you choose to out of the out of the box be able to extend that to AWS or Microsoft Azure Blob Storage or S3 compatible or GCP that's coming in version 11. Like all of those are options that you can literally just tick here and that will start tiering those workloads or moving those or copying those workloads, those backups into wherever you wish them to be. So on that, I'm not going to do that. I just want to show you the benefits of being able to just do this on the fly without having to lift and shift a load of data. And once it's saved, I'm going to jump back into the backup job and just show how that dynamic change has already happened. So on that next backup run, if I had it scheduled, it would already be going to that new scale out backup repository. And you'll see also that the simple repository is no longer an option as a simple location to, to store that data. And I would say that there's not many use cases where that shouldn't be happening moving away from that simple repository, moving into a scale out backup repository really gives us a lot of functionality about being able to extend where we can store our, our data. But also when it comes to potentially adding more capacity to, if that was a simple repository that was a LUN and it was tied to a certain storage that couldn't go above certain amount of terabytes, then as a simple repository, then you would need to consider that migration plan. Whereas in a scale out backup repository, there's so many more features in there where we can seal extents, we can um, evacuate backups from one storage to another. 
there's a lot of flexibility when you when you get into that space if there's any questions drop it in the comments down below if you'd like to see if you've got questions that maybe seem simple stupid no questions stupid just uh yeah again drop it in the in the comments down below thanks <laughs>